Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about another upcoming play to earn game that is launching very soon. Their PvP open beta will be released this February, so you can try that out for yourself. This game is Voxy Tactics. Voxy Tactics is a retro styled tactical RPG built on the Ethereum blockchain, supported by their NFT project called Voxies. In Voxy Tactics, players can use their Voxies to fight with monsters and other players in a turn based game for a chance to earn crypto rewards and more NFTs. My first impressions of the game are great. The QB pixel art style looks nice and will surely appeal to a lot of people. The gameplay also looks good. The devs were inspired by Tactics games from the 90s and 2000s, but also added their own modern twists to appeal to younger generations. The mechanics also remind me of a game I used to play as a kid called Final Fantasy Tactics. Let's see what Voxy Tactics has to offer. To get started with the game, you just have to register on their site. Yes, the game will be free to play for everyone. And you will be able to earn rewards even without investing anything. Like I mentioned earlier, Voxy Tactics is supported by their NFT project called Voxies. If you do have a Voxy NFT, you can import them to use in-game. Like with other crypto games that have a free-to-play system, people who do own the NFT will have certain benefits. Some of the perks are higher rate of in-game rewards, access to weapons and items already on the NFT, having a companion pet by default, access to certain classes and races in-game, and the ability to mint new generation NFTs. Voxies have several characteristics to make them unique. They can be one of six rarities, which are common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and godly. They also have a total of 20 attributes that distinguish them from one another. These are all the different attributes they have. Some of these attributes have a direct effect on how the Voxies perform in-game, like class, race, companion, and item. Like I mentioned earlier, if you already own a Voxy NFT and use them in-game, some traits are only available to Voxies with the attributes already minted on them. These perks will definitely boost your in-game experience, but they are not required to enjoy the full gameplay. Nice job from the devs going with the free-to-play route for faster mass adoption. Now let's get to the in-game attributes that Voxies have. Each Voxy has a class, or like the job system in Final Fantasy games. There is a total of 21 classes, each with their different specialties. Some of the classes are Knight, Black Mage, Ninja, Hawk Knight, Chemist, and Druid. There's even a Monster class, which I'm wondering how it performs in-game. There are a lot of classes to choose from, so each Voxy will have a role in fights. Players who own their Voxy NFTs have the capability of switching their classes after certain requirements are met and paying a fee. However, class changes are only allowed within certain class groups, shown here. Robots and monsters are not allowed to change classes. And there are also special classes that are only attainable by owning a Voxy NFT with that trait. These are Time Mage, Samurai, Chemist, Pirate, and Hawk Knight. Special classes cannot switch to normal classes and vice versa. Free-to-play users won't be able to switch the classes of the Voxies they recruit while playing the game. So if they want to use a certain class, they will have to find and recruit one. If you are liking this character design so far, you can check out their website and white paper to learn more. You can also check out the Voxies for sale on OpenSea if you want to get one for yourself. We made this video ahead of the main game launch so you can get an overview of the project and maybe help you decide if you want to invest in it or not. But remember, whenever it involves real money, please do your own research and be diligent enough. If you want to stay updated about other upcoming crypto game launches, you can join our Discord over at Survivors, where we have a daily newsletter that keeps our members up to date about everything play to earn. Now for character stats. Like in other RPG games, there are also stats that each character has which determine their combat effectivity. The stats each Voxy has are Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Luck, Armor, and Movement. Strength determines the damage done when attacking and when using physical skills. Dexterity decides the hit chance and crit rate of attacks, 
and also influences the evasion and dodge rate of a character. Intelligence is the main stat considered when calculating the damage of magic-based skills. And luck affects multiple aspects which aren't fully explained in the white paper. Armor decides how much damage resistance a Voxy will have, and movement is how far it can move in a turn. Some classes will rely more on a certain stat which determines their game style. For example, warriors and knights lean more towards strength, while rangers and samurais rely more on dexterity. And of course, magic-based classes like druids and priests will rely more on intelligence. Strength, dexterity, and intelligence can all be increased by leveling up. Some stats will also have a bonus increase per level depending on the class of the Voxy. Like mages gain more intelligence per level than knights. Armor, movement, and luck will not increase by leveling up but can be augmented through other methods like equipment. Each Voxy has 8 equipment slots for putting on different weapons and armors to help their performance in-game. The weapons are divided into 3 groups, melee weapons, ranged weapons, and magic weapons. I'm guessing like in other RPGs, the weapon you can equip will depend on your class. Like swords will only be for warriors, bows for the rangers, and wands for the mages. With so many choices for equipment, it's up to the player's strategy on what they equip their characters with for maximum effectivity. Companion pets are little creatures that a Voxy can equip to help in-game. Each companion pet has one exploration ability and one in-battle ability and each Voxy can equip one companion. These are some of the companion pets you can get. I think the mini dragon one looks cool. You can find companion pets by playing the game, or if your Voxy NFT already has one, then you can use it in-game. Now let's get to the gameplay. The game has two modes, Exploration and PvP mode. Exploration is the PvE aspect of the game, where you traverse multiple locations and follow a quest line. You will have to fight computer-controlled monsters in this mode, and if successful, you get rewarded in tokens and NFT items. And PvP, as the name suggests, is where you can fight other players in real time. There are two modes under PvP, the Arena and the Extreme Arena. In Arena, Players will have to utilize a set of random free-to-play Voxy characters to make a team and fight with other players. It is like a tournament where the last player standing is the winner. There will be ranking tiers in the arena, depending on how many wins the player has before being eliminated. These are the tiers. The rewards you get also increase the higher your tier is. To enter the arena, players will have to pay a certain fee first. The Extreme Arena has similar mechanics to the normal arena, except here players can use any item or Voxies they own, regardless of rarity level. Upon entering the Extreme Arena, players are grouped into tiers depending on their performance in the normal arenas, and each game they play here will impact their ranking after the season. Again, the higher your rank, the more rewards. The game is turn-based. So if you've played games like Final Fantasy Tactics, then this won't be new to you. There will be a turn order. During your turn, your Voxy can move once and either take an action, like attacking or using skills, or equip, where they can switch equipment. After your action, the next Voxy makes their move. Since it has an isometric view, there is also a direction system in the game, which is a typical mechanic in this genre. For example, if you attack a Voxy facing you, it will have a low chance of hitting compared to attacking a Voxy that is facing the other way. There are also other game mechanics you have to consider. One of these are damage types, which can either be melee, ranged, or magic. And these can also have an element infused, like fire or poison. There are also various status effects that can help or hinder your team, like haste or confusion similar to Final Fantasy games. There are also certain terrains on maps that can enhance or limit the movements of a Voxy, like water or lava. It's nice to see that they have a lot going on for the game mechanics, so players really need to think well about each move they make. Now let's get to the tokenomics. The game has one token, the Voxel token. 
It is the main token of the game with a total supply of 300 million. Players can earn Voxel by playing the game, winning fights, completing quests, and by selling on the marketplace. Voxel is used for buying items on the marketplace, for loaning Voxy NFTs, crafting new NFT equipment, changing classes, and for recruiting new Voxies. It is also used as the fee for entering the arena. Like I mentioned earlier, Voxy's NFT owners have boosted earnings for Voxel when in-game, which is a perk that comes with their NFT. I just hope they can keep the economy healthy with a good burning mechanism, since it is a one-token system. Let's see how the devs go from here. Speaking of the devs, the team behind the game is always Geeky Games. They claim to have over 15 years of experience in the gaming industry, with experience working on projects like Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. I checked out the CEO's LinkedIn profile, Stephen Ball, and it does show he worked at Ubisoft for over 9 years as a team lead. He also has over 5 years of experience working for EA as a software engineer. The team looks legit and it's good to know the one leading the company already has extensive experience in the gaming industry. Overall, the game looks really promising. I really like the art style they went with, and I'm sure other people do too. I'm also a fan of the gameplay because it does incentivize players to really do better and step up their game. There are a lot of crypto games releasing that are pretty basic and require zero skill, but with Voxy Tactics being a turn-based strategy game, players with skills are rewarded. It's also good to see that they're following the trend of making the game free to play and free to earn. But at the same time, they also give perks to the supporters of their NFT for trusting in the project early. This way, both parties win and everyone gets to experience the game without a paywall. If you want, you can check out the Voxies for sale on OpenSea right now. At the time of this recording, the floor price is around 0.75 ETH. They'll also be having their PvP open beta preseason this February, where everyone is free to join you can keep your eyes peeled for that. What do you think about Voxy Tactics? Are you thinking of joining the open beta too? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to talk more about other crypto games we're playing right now, you can join our Discord over at Survivors, where we have a friendly community all willing to share their experiences. That's it for today. See you next video.